All right, what's up you guys? Back here with another video. Um, yeah, the story, as you saw in the fucking title, the story is about me fighting my teacher in high school. I'll get into like all of the details because that sounds so fucking ignorant. And I'm going to just start off by saying... I was like maybe 13 or 14 at the time, so give me give me a, give me a little pass. I was kind of awesome. I was on some other shit back then, but um, yeah. <laughs> so I had honestly like forgotten that this even happened until like a few weeks ago, because there's this girl that I'm kind of talking to a little bit, and her roommate went to school with me, and I didn't like know her like when we were in school together, or whatever. But apparently, like there were just a bunch of fucking just. I guess, crazy fucking, I guess, some were, like, rumors, and then some were just, like, things that happened that I didn't even know people, like, cared enough about to, like, even remember to, like, tell other people, so I guess that's just fucking high school, like, I don't fucking know. And one weird thing that I was gonna do, like, a separate video about, but I was like, eh, that's not really, like, there was, like, a rumor about me that I guess I had, like, two moms, like, I was raised by, like, two gay women or some shit, and I was just always confused about how that like even got started like i asked some of my friends if they heard that and they're like yeah like we all thought like from like i guess middle school like well i went to one middle school like in that district for one year but they were like yeah since then like we've heard that you had like two moms like, like that's just one of like those random things that's like with high school and shit and i'm getting totally off topic but i don't even start okay I'll give you like a little bit of background behind this because it's just like oh I just randomly fought this fucking man and it's just like what like what the fuck is wrong with me but it actually is what the fuck is wrong with me <laughs> but um okay this was like either freshman year or sophomore year I want to say it was sophomore year because I don't remember him being I remember it happening and then like him kind of being gone but it could have been freshman year too because I, I don't I honestly don't remember I think I might have had him twice but I, I'm not sure. So it's going to be either... I was like 13 or 14 in between like that kind of like space and time, I guess, in my life. So, of course, being me, if you couldn't tell, I wasn't like the fucking best, like most fucking pristine student um, on the honor roll and like on all this shit. I'm obviously a smart kid or was a smart kid, but... I mean, I just did, and it was math, okay, so I'm not, I'm gonna be the first one to say that, oh, yo, I'm guilty, I'm not the fucking best at math, so, fuck. So I feel like that kind of contributed to me not really caring about his class or, like, what he was saying, because I was just like, nigga, I don't, I don't understand this shit anyway. Plus, he was kind of just a weird-ass nigga, like, he was just like, just like, he would say, dude, it, if he said shit now and kids got him on film for it, he would be like, the Shade Room would be on his shit, like, he would be on fucking Fox, like, he would be, well, no, probably not Fox, but, like, he would be on every fucking, like, liberal news media, like, fucking platform, just, like, what the fuck is this nigga talking about, because he would say, like, some low-key, like, homophobic-ass shit, like, he would always be, like, and the weird thing, and, okay, there's so much stuff, there's so many layers to this, so, he, there were, like, obviously, like, gay students at my school, like, every other fucking school, gay students or just kids who like didn't really care about like what people thought about them or like just didn't like really give a fuck like kids would just like maybe like wear pink or like do some shit that he thought was like untraditional in like the fucking oldest ass motherfucking like 18th century type shit like if you wear pink or if you fucking laugh like oh you yeah, kids with long hair like oh you look like a girl or oh like just other shit and he would just be like oh uh that's fruity or like some kind of, like, connotations are, like, saying, like, oh, that's gay. Like, I don't, I don't fuck with that. Like, I don't, like, you're, he's, like, and he tried to make a joke out of it, too, which is, like, the really fucked up thing. So, he would, like, use that kind of, like, as a punchline and just all this other shit. And one thing that got him fucking hot, because his name was Mr. Toke. If you went to my fucking school, you probably know the story, but, um, what, anytime, like, and I found this out, like, the first or second day of school, because he fucking told us, like, a dumbass. Or maybe someone said, I don't remember. Maybe he told us or someone said it, but he was like, no, no. Like, someone had done it before to him. Kids would call him Toki Bear, like, jokingly or whatever. And he would, like, get so pissed off when people did that shit. And you know me, like, if... <laughs> now that I'm saying this, I feel like I kind of deserve this fade, but... I was a fucking... I was like 
13, nigga. Like, what the fuck? You, if you're going to be that sensitive to fucking kids, don't work out of high school. Like, because that's where all the fucking ignorant ass kids are going to be. Like, especially at my fucking school in Inglewood, nigga. Like, you better not fucking work at that school if you have, if you're like, if you don't have tough skin. Because these kids will fucking, like, make you fight them. So, um, and to put this into context a little bit more, I was not the type of kid to, like, start any kind of fight or, like, encourage any kind like i was just i didn't want i low-key didn't want to get in trouble because i just knew like if i get into a fight like one i might lose two like that might lead to other things and in inglewood bro like i'm not trying to fight you because your brother could be in from this block or your cousin could do this or there's it's too many it's too much shit and i'm just like bro nah fuck that nah 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 i'm good so it was i was always kind of like just conscious of like it's not even the right environment to be getting into fights with and, like, kids want to, like, escalate. Like, it's, it's, schools are too fucking crazy now. So, I was kind of aware of that. And just, like, I don't know. I just don't want to fight people. Like, it was just not, there just wasn't, like, my way of, like, really solving shit. Like, I just didn't, I wasn't with the hands. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I wasn't, like, provoking it you'll you'll hear it in a minute but yeah i was like an asshole but i didn't want to fight one day oh jesus seven minutes in one day <laughs> one day it was like so, it, i don't even remember when it was i just remember it was a hot ass fucking day and of course my fucking genius ass friends thought that the solution to us being hot as fuck all day was to run around and throw water on each other so, this whole fucking day, and it was like, this went on for a little minute, like a cool month or two, of just kids like running around, like throwing water on each other when it was hot, and it was just like a fucking epidemic of just like, <laughs> the teachers trying to, yo, shout out to the, <laughs> fuck, shout out to the teachers that had to deal with us, cause we were some, we were some other shit, I know these fucking kids now are just fucking retarded, but, um... Yeah, we were just, like, running around, like, throwing water on each other, like, it was just, like, they had to, like, they, like, fucking monitored the fucking, um, water fountains to make sure we weren't, like, just throwing out the water bottles and, like, throwing, going to throw it on people. So, of course, I'm doing it. I'm, like, in the fucking little, like, scene of water bottle assault or whatever the fuck. And this nigga fucking, okay, so I think I got, I don't remember what I did. I probably fucking called him Tilky Bear or something. Said something to fucking piss him off or whatever. Fucking, he like kicked me out of his class or something like that. Like I got kicked out that day or like a few days uh, before this day. I remember I got kicked out or like I got into an argument with him and left the class or just some, uh, like just some stupid shit that I was doing. I remember one of my friends was in his classroom and I had like my fucking water bottle like looking for him all fucking day because he had gotten me and I was like, no motherfucker, I'm gonna get you back. So I'm like looking for him, looking for him, and he's in the fucking math teacher's class. So I like run inside, like try to sneak attack him, like try to like throw the water bottle, like throw the water bottle on him, throw the water from the bottle on him, and like right when I, excuse me, right when I fucking like lunge out to like throw the water on him, I feel like a fucking like force just like yanking me back, and he like it wasn't like my neck, but it was my I think. I think he grabbed, like, my backpack and my collar and, like, yanked me. And my nigga, when I tell you, I fucking... <laughs> I, that was, like, the most out-of-body, like... My spirit felt like I was still, like, right here. But, like, my actual body was, like, all the way, like, back here. Like, it was, like, some astral projection. Like, it was... I sound so extra right now. But I'm telling you, like, I felt like I got, like, my fucking body snatched from my soul. Or so, it was some shit, bruh. So, he, like, pulls me out, and it's maybe, like, a cool, like, maybe, like, five to six feet from where, like, the desk that the kid was sitting at to where the door was, and I guess you like, maybe at the board or at the front of the, like, maybe, like, behind the door or something, like, just kind of just standing there waiting for kids to walk in, because it's, like, the time from, like, lunch to, I think, fifth period, and then, like, that's obviously, like, the time you come back in from lunch, and he's, like, letting the kids walk in, I'm just over here fucking running in trying to hit this kid with fucking water and he like yanks me lunges me the fuck out of the classroom and just goes like what the like what the fuck are you doing in my class you're kicked out you're banned all this shit all this shit and i was like yo i was like oh my god <laughs> the more i get into the story the more it sounds like i fucking deserve this shit <laughs> but fuck it i'm a kid i'm a minor too like what the fuck anyway so he started screaming at me, and that kind of, like, draws a little crowd of, like, people watching me. 
And for some reason, I feel like I'm still like this. For some reason, like, when, if people try to, like, out me or, like, say some shit to, like, embarrass me or, like, grill me in public, like, I'm going to, like, go in on you. Because if you say it one-to-one, like, I can just say, like, my little comeback or whatever, and that's kind of between us. But if it's, like, a fucking crowd of people, like, there's an audience, like, my nigga, I got, I... I have to go in on you so I'm not looking like, oh, he got, like... I have to do all I can to, like, protect myself. And, like, I don't know. You know what I mean. Like, I'm not just going to let you, like... I'm not going to take an L, basically. Like, I'm not going to let you just shit on me in front of all these people. So, I'm like, fuck. He's, like, embarrassing. Like, he's yelling at me. Like, all these shit. Like, oh, this little bitch-ass kid. All this shit. All this shit. And I'm like, you know what? I got to hit him with that. <laughs> I got to hit him with some heat. And I was like, fuck you, Toki Bear. I'm hyping myself up. Everyone's just going crazy. They're like, oh, he called this nigga Tilky Bear. Uh, and everyone kind of knew, like, that was, like, his, like, main... Like, he's going to complain about that. He's going to get mad or, like, in his feelings about you saying that to him. And this is the fucked up thing, too, because I don't, I don't feel bad for this shit anymore. Fuck that. So I'm standing, like, right at the door, like, at the entrance of the classroom when he, like, yanked me out. And I say it. I'm like, fuck you. And he's like, well, how about we call your parents? Like, some shit about you're not going to say that when I call your parents. Something about calling my parents. So he, like, pulls the door and, like, hits me in the shoulder. And I'm like, yo, nigga, like, what the... I'm like, yo, what the fuck is your problem? Like, seriously, like, okay, like, you've taken it too far now. Like, you fucking... You already grabbed me one time, like, which you weren't supposed to do because you were not allowed to fucking touch kids at a fucking school. So, like, what the fuck are you doing? When, number one, that's your first fuck up. Number two, you're gonna fucking yell at me in front of all these goddamn kids, which, right or wrong... In your case, like, if he's right or if he's wrong, like, that doesn't justify you just trying to fucking flat out embarrass me or, like, just trying to fucking, like, make, cause a fucking scene and be like, oh, hey, like, I'm this big teacher, like, don't fuck with me or, like, whatever the fuck he was trying to do. And, um, and three, you fucking hit me with the goddamn door, nigga. Like, what the fuck? So, I'm like, okay, alright. So, everyone's kind of just, like, looking at, I'm, fuck, I deserve this <laughs> everyone's at the everyone who's like in that little area is just kind of like like you're gonna let him do that to you my nigga like everyone's just kind of like waiting for me to react so i'm like okay all right so he hits me in the shoulder and i'm like behind the door now and who the fuck do i see my fucking nathan i fuck with you if you i don't know what the fuck happened to my friend but if you still watch my videos bro i, I miss you my nigga hit hit me the fuck up nathan oh my god I see this nigga Nathan, bro, and <laughs> me. Oh my god! I see Nathan, and he's like, "Bro, you gonna like? You don't let this nigga do that shit to you?" I'm like, "That's all. That was all the hype I needed." I'm like, "Nah, you know what? Fuck this nigga." I was gonna let it go at first. I was like, "You know what? Let me just take the L. Like, what the fuck? Like, you just like if anything else." He'll just be, like, the weird-ass teacher that's grabbing kids. Like, you're just fucking weird for that. Like, who just yanks a fucking kid out without saying, like, hey, Lee. Like, you didn't give me any fucking warning or anything, dude. You just fucking grab me and pull me out. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck this nigga. And he's standing behind the door, like, letting the kids in. Kind of using, like, the door as, like, a barrier between, like, him and me. And the thing that he fucked up on was, like, putting me behind his back. Because you don't know what the fuck I'm, like... Not even trying to make myself sound like, oh, I'm fucking crazy. But, like, you don't know what the fuck someone's going to do. So, like, don't put someone to your back. But that's just him being fucking stupid. But, anyway. So, I'm behind him. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck this nigga. And I... <laughs> <laughs> wow. I fucking kick the shit out of his fucking door and hit him in, like... I guess he, like... I guess it hit him in the head and, like, he fell over or... It... I don't even remember. I know. I just remember I kicked the door and it hit him and he like fell down a little bit. Bruh. The one thing that I heard, bruh, for a split second, I was like, yo, I'm that nigga. Like, oh my God. I don't have bitches on my dick. I'm the baddest nigga here. No one can fuck with me. Like, I'm on, like, not even, on, I don't know. I was, just, I was 14 or 13. One of the two. Fuck me. Oh my God. But like for that split second, I was like, yo, I'm about to be like the most popping nigga here. So once I, once I had like that little, 
grandiose kind of thing, I hear someone yell out, World Star! And I'm like, fuck, I'm not trying to fight this nigga. Like, god damn it. And I was a pretty tall kid. I was like maybe like six foot at the time. Like maybe 5'11", like six foot. And he was like, maybe, he was like, I want to say he was like 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, he, was, he was shorter than me a little by a little bit, but that's all that really matters. So I'm like, fuck, I got to fight this nigga. God damn it. So I'm like, take off, <laughs> I take off my backpack, ready to square up with this nigga. And no, 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 actually, no. I ran because I was like, oh, fuck, I'm not trying to do anything. But I think I, I don't remember why I took my backpack off. But I, I think I did. And I was just carrying it. I don't know why the fuck I did that. But I was like trying to get away because I think I did realize, like, oh, he wants to fight me or he's going to try to fight me or try to do some kind of more physical shit. No homo. Yes, homo. Pause. Fuck that shit. Anyway, um, so he's like running up like I'm running trying to get away from him because I think I did kick it. And I was like, OK, let me get the fuck out of here once I heard World Star. So I'm running and like I made me get a few. This nigga is always behind me. Like he's always like that that within like a reach of me. So, like, I'm running away to fucking just get out of, like, the area of this classroom. And the first thing I feel is, like, my arms kind of, like, just get pulled back. And I'm like, what the fuck? And it was more like he was trying to, like, subdue me. Pause. Like, the fuck? <laughs> the more I'm telling the story, the more it's like, why the fuck are you putting your hands on a fucking 13-year-old boy? Like, what the fuck? So, I'm just like, bruh, I'm fucked. Like, on some UFC type headlock kind of shit and i'm just like help help and like everyone's trying to run away but then they see the i'm the one who got caught so like oh eh, okay he can't catch all of us so i'm like help this teach like just making a joke out of it like help this teacher is touching me inappropriately like all the like um stranger danger like michael jackson's like just making all the fucking jokes that i can think of like just rapid fire on this nigga so he can like let me the fuck go because it's like dude like why are you gonna just keep touching on this little fucking kid like the fuck so i'm just like lifting i'm like lifting my shirt up like oh my god he's like taking my clothes off look because like his arms like around me so i'm like look he's like taking my shirt off like all the and he's still like grabbing me like let me the fuck go like if i'm ho like for whatever reason i hope not pause i hope i don't have to do this but like if i'm ever grabbing a fucking child a minor and he's like help help this man is grabbing me like this person who's over 18 is touching me and i don't give him consent to touch me i hope that i would like be like oh let me let this kid fucking go like that's your natural reaction you want to go to fucking jail or, like be like oh you're a fucking weirdo so he's like still grabbing me still holding on to me with like his fucking dear soul and shit and i was just like i think i i, I feel like i like got one of my arms down to like, my pants and like let my fucking belt buckle go and was like look he's like taking my pants I was a wild nigga, bro. Like, y'all ask about me, fuck. <laughs> but I was just on some other... I was just like, dude, let me... I was just trying to say whatever I could to get him to let me the fuck go. So he's, like, still, like, holding on to me. And I'm like... I think I hit him, like, in the face a few times. He's like... Every time I'm moving, he's, like, locking his, like, grip in even harder. So I'm like, dude, like, just let me the fuck go. Like, that's all I want is just for you to stop touching me. So eventually i'm just like in this fucking like choke hold like he has my fucking head in like this fucking lock and i'm like you know what just just calm down like on my buddhist shit i'm like you know what just just let it flow just just you know and i like i like hold my breath in i like inhale and i'm on some fucking houdini fucking chris angel mind freak shit i'm like you know what let's go and i like fucking <laughs> I break my chains, niggas is free, free at last, free at last, Django motherfucking, you know the story. So I like, pull myself down from under his evil clutches, and I like, get from under him, and I'm like, you know what, I'm out this bitch, pull my pants back on, put my shirt on, and right when I do that, I grab my backpack and I'm about to run, the fucking security guard cart comes pulling around the fucking, uh, the corner, and I'm like, you know what, nigga? I hit my fucking Sonic boost ring shit, and I was just out, I was out that bitch. <laughs> so, um, yeah, moral of the story is, if you're a teacher, don't fucking touch your kids, and if you're an, an annoying-ass kid, then get ready to fucking run up with your teachers, I guess. I, 
I don't fucking know. Uh, but, um, yeah, that's my story time. It's 22 minutes in this bitch. Hopefully I can cut it down. So, thank you guys for watching this. I hope it made you laugh. I hope it made you cry. I hope it made you feel like, yo, we need to run his fate again. Um, if you want to help me put a hit out on this nigga, then it's only $7,000. I checked. Um, yeah, hit my line. Uh, that's really it. Thank you for watching this, and I will see you next time.